Hello and welcome to the Kale Now team of the round 5. I am Abhishek Parmeshwaran and I am substituting for Guru Dinio today. He is teaching our young lads at our mutineers. The round 5 was very interesting. All the home teams won their matches. Our team is a mix of a few foreigners, a few Indian players. You can have your say after this and let us know what you feel about it. We start off with the goalkeepers. Our pick for the goalkeeping slot is Subratapal. TP Rahnesh, Lakshmi Kant Kattimani, Amrinder Singh and Karanjeet Singh. All were standout goalkeepers in this particular round. But our team of the round has Subratapal in it. Subrata marshaled his defence very very well and he made a very good one-on-one -on -one save against Florin Maluda and helped to keep a clean sheet for his team. Moving on to the right back, we have Rahul Bheke at this slot. Kerala Blasters FC might have lost their game against FC Goa, but Rahul Bheke was a standout player for the team. He put in a very good shift on the right side with his technical quality and his stamina coming to the fore. He also put in a wonderful cross for Mohammad Rafi to head home. This lad is one to watch for the Indian Super League 2015. Moving on to the centre-back position, the big Frenchman Bernard Mendy from Chennai NFC. Bernard Mendy has had a very iffy tournament thus far with some sketchy performances at the back. However, against a very good FC Pune City team, he put in a very commanding performance at the back. He also scored his side's first goal, which led to them winning the match. Bernard Mendy is our choice for the first centre-back slot. Our choice for the second centre-back slot is the big, Gregory Arnolin from FC Goa. Gregory Arnolin has thus far been very reliable at the back for FC Goa. However, this time he chipped in with a winner for his team as they faced Kerala Blasters FC and they claimed an improbable win. Our next pick for the left back position is Robin Gurung. The Northeast United left back had to deal with ATK's attacking might and a very committed forward in Ian Hume. However, he was a rock for his team. We're done with the defenders, let's move on to the midfield. At the base of midfield, the big Cameroonian Andri Biki, who plays for Northeast United FC. The Cameroonian Andri Biki was very recently introduced to the ISL and he's made an immediate impact. He was effective in thwarting the attacking trio of Havilara, Jamie Gavilan, and Bora Fernandez. And ATK went back home empty handed. The next pick for us in midfield, on the right side of midfield, is Leo Mora from FC Goa. In a game which was dominated by Kerala Blasters FC, Leo Mora made excellent use of the ball when he did have it. He popped up with a vital equaliser at the stroke of halftime. A great shot from outside the box. Moving on to our next midfielder, our left midfielder is Sony Norde from Mumbai City FC. Sony Norde made his class evident in the I-League while playing for Mohan Bagan. This time he was dancing rings around Shovik Chakraborty and Chikao against Delhi. He danced and tricked his way into an assist, but he would be itching to score. He's not scored yet in the Hero ISL and I'm sure he's looking forward to getting on that score sheet. Our next pick for the tip of the midfield diamond is the Indian talisman, Sunil Chetri. India's talismanic striker, Sunil Chetri, made his mark on the Hero ISL 2015 with two excellent goals. The first one was an instinctive finish from a deflected volley and the second one was a typical poacher's finish. He would be itching to score many, many more in this year's ISL. We move on to our two strikers, the first one being the Argentinian Nicolas Velez. After so many missed chances, the Argentinian Nicolas Velez found the net against Chennai NFC last week. He replicated the same against ATK this week with the only goal in a 1 0 win. A solid performance from the Argentine. The striker to partner him in our team of the round 5 is the Chennai NFC man. Steven Mendonza. Steven Mendonza is almost a permanent fixture in our team of the week. A well taken goal after rounding the goalkeeper and the Colombian was a star attacker on show yet again. This rounds up our team of the week for the round 5. As you can see we are playing a 4-4-2 with a midfield diamond and our manager for the week is Nicolas Anelka. Nicolas Anelka marshaled his team very well against Delhi Dynamos who were actually a very informed side going into the match and he made sure that they ran out 2-0 winners and now they're very well placed to make a charge for the top 4 positions. That's a wrap from us at the Kale Now Team of the Round. We will be back with Team of the Round 6. In the meanwhile, please keep liking, sharing and commenting. Also a note for the fans, your comments will help us decide the Team of the Season. So please leave your comments on who you think should be on the Team of the Season. See you next time. Thank you very much.